Okay, guys. Here's some mono white death and taxes. Playing against Lurus, probably red black shadow of some sort. This hand only has one land, even though it does have three one drops. I think it is a mulligan. This hand looks a little bit better. It's still a little bit not great, but we do have to keep, I believe. Oh, I thought this was actually a giver of runes, but it's not. Stoneforge Mystic makes this hand a lot better for me, I think. I don't know, Mulligan to 5, so that's nice for me as well. So I that this is Silent Clearing rather than Plans. Because I don't imagine myself sacking it anytime soon. How my mana looks. Blood Crypt, sure. Swiss Spear. Out of the board, I have two Oriok Champions, which is going to be pretty nice. I almost decided to play four Oriok Champions, but I think two Oriok's Purge, Wins, is all pretty good. Maybe Burning Forge Tender, depending on what we take out. Taking two. Play target. Oh, it targeted me. Play sound clearing. Pass the turn. Second ghost quarter. It's a land so we can ghost quarter ourselves to set up for double white if we need to. I'm going to take the hit from the Swiss Spirit almost assuredly. No thought sees. I'm going to take the hit. I'm, I'm going to let this thought seize happen. I don't really want to path this Swiss Spear if possible because then it sets up the Luris. I think they're going to take, take my Stoneforge Mystic regardless. <laughs> Let's see. Right. For those of you who didn't know, I am an old school D&T player. I'm not old school, I guess, but I have played a lot of D&T in my life. Modern. They took the pass, so they have Shadow in their hand, is what they're saying. That is... Oh, another Thought Seize, okay. Well, now I wish I would have pathed, just them having second Thought Seize. That was slightly unfortunate. Looks like they don't have another land, though. Mutagenic Growth? They're just firing it off? That's good for me. So that means their hand just doesn't have anything. Yeah, I may just be Ghost Quartering myself for a second white. Depending on what I draw next turn. Oh, only fans. <laughs> uh. This fly is really annoying me. Does not want to sit still for me. Yeah, I always I didn't really like unearth in this deck. Didn't really make much sense. To me, at least. It's only like good in the long games with Lyris. Besides that, it felt like pretty not powerful. That was great for me. Now I can just do this. Get rid of that Swiss Spear. And if they just play like Death Shadow or something else, we can just flicker with this and take out their Death Shadow slash Scourge. Shield of Fire. Sure, that's fine. I can just flicker with the token as well. I think I'm going to go with Flicker Wisp this turn. Maybe incorrect. But I feel like there's a high likelihood they're going to go like Luris next turn. If they find a land. And I do want to play around like Push slash Bolt here a little bit. It'll push. Yep, there we go. Is that competitive? I believe so. Bomat Courier. Okay, they're going to lose both their lands. <laughs> they're probably not going to be very happy about it. You're about to get double wastelanded, my friend. <laughs> Wasteland. It's fair. Again. Your turn. I am at seven, but they're at eight, so like this can actually just like kill them pretty quickly. Gross, yeah, it was pretty good for me there. Well, they're not taking the damage, that's good for me, I think. Land here would be nice. That's also pretty nice for me. It so looks that we're at 6, though, and we do have the silent clearing, but... A land basically seals up the game for me. Can't use the fetch.
What if Dahlia doesn't do anything? Well, I don't think they have any apps at this point. They're gonna have to take too much damage to like play their spells. Yep, got them there. Hmm. Bring in Winds of Abandon. Potentially Burning to Forge Center. We definitely want these Oriok Champions. We definitely want this Purge. Let's bring in these. Let's see, what do we not want? Spellfield attached to target creature control. Quick creature gets plus two, plus two. It's flying and first strike. Fire and Ice could be fine, although I'm a bit skeptical about it. I feel like we want to shave at least one of these two. Skyclave's great. Flicker Wisp is great. Hmm. Interesting spot, because we need to shave a good chunk of cards, I think. Dahlia is like good but bad at the same time because like Dart just makes Dahlia look so so bad along with Flicker Wisp. But Flicker Wisp is also like pretty good in the air and like resetting our Skyclaves. So it's like I feel like I'm supposed to cut some amount of Thalia and Flicker Wisp. I think I want sort of fire and ice. I think I want something like this, maybe. Could be wrong, though, but this feels, like, fine to me. Just kind of, like, go in with Batter School and use Skyclays and stuff to, to clear the way. Forge Tender I'm not so sure about. It's possible I just want some of these other cards over the Forge Tender, but I think this is fine. We have lots of ways to make Flick Wisp not that great. Um, the sand seems good to me. Has Aether Vial into Stoneforge, Burnington. And if they take, like, my Aether Vial with a Thoughtseize, then I still get to go Burnington, Forge, into Stoneforge Mystic. They basically have to have Thoughtseize Fatal Push. Which is great for me. If they... Well, it's not great for me. It means, like, it's a good spot to, like, be in. But like, okay. Well, that's fine. Planes, Aether Vial. Hopefully, we don't have like a braid here. That would be unfortunate. Looks like a braid. Damn, that sucks for me. Planes, Stoneforge Mystic. Let's get Batter School. And I think we're just going to Skyclave Apparition this Bowmat Courier next turn, save the path, be more mana efficient on other turns, depending on what we draw, of course. Thoughtseize, okay. What do they want to take? My hand is pretty good after drawing that planes. Let's see what opponent can come up with. Let us see what the opponent can come up with. It's all about what they have to back up for this Thought Season to make this Bowman Carrier potentially good. Which, they need to have, like, double Thought Seize, basically, and turn a spell here to, like, kind of make it so their Bowman Carrier is good. If they don't have a removal spell for Stone Forge, it's so good for me, it's insane. Fatal push, sure. Let's play Forge Tender, and then I'll path the Bowmat Carrier in the draw step. Yeah. Because, like, if they have a way to make it so, like, they get the three cards out of this... They do lose three cards, and like then I get to freely feel of ruin them, which makes them low on mana source as well. Peter TMTG, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Big announcement, Pog, yep. 
Red mana. Okay. I was hoping that a, a basic was going to be underneath the bone mat. That would have been great for me. Ooh, they don't have anything. Now they're down to two mana sources again. And I have Purge open. Don't think I'm supposed to attack here. Because then it like allows them to shadow. Because they can seal fire themselves and then shadow. Like the one damage is negligible as well. This band is interesting. I think I'm just fine passing the turn here repeatedly. The video comment section is interesting. Yeah, I need to deal with all those comments, but I just like wasn't paying attention to them really. They're just like bots doing it, so it is annoying, but hmm. I should have rested there. Was not quite paying attention. Play Arbiter. Pass the turn, I guess. Would have been sick if I had like a sort of ghost quarter in there. I think I can attack for one now. Be fine. Lens of Bannon is nice because if I keep if I keep drawing lands, like I can actually just overload it if they like get a big board. I thought that, that was a possibility. But like I thought that was a possibility basically if they had the seal fire regardless. I can just purge their shadow now. Land? I think I'm just gonna get the vial down this turn. I think not putting that Restoration Angel into play on that one turn was pretty bad. Meh. I hope they just like fetch on the end step. That would be great for me, and then I can feel the ruin them again. And they did not do that, sadly. That sucks a lot for me. Well, it just sucks a lot for me because it takes my winds of abandon. But yeah, I think it was like me not restoring there on that one turn where I had the four mana open was pretty bad. It's possible they don't take wins. It's possible, yeah, they took the Resto Angel. Interesting. I don't think I want to play the Lydion and Arbor out this turn, actually. I think I can just like wait a turn for it. Well, I expect them to have a second shadow. That's what I was worried about. do this and then we can vial in the arbiter because it's, it's kind of like putting them in a spot where they're forced to crack the turn it's just I assume, yep. I'm gonna take that the least oh yeah, yeah I expected that as well but like if they don't have a way to deal with it they're kind of just gonna die to it right wow
Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wait in case they like play a third mana source. So they can cause Lex to turn me. Put our into play. I don't think that they can win the game anymore. Yep, we got them there. I think we played a little bit loose, but got there in the end, which, you know, I'll take it. Hopefully we can continue to do well and uh, get some good matchups in the next rounds. We'll see you there. So we're back for round two, playing against Misplaced Ginger. His hand is like medium, but Dolly is usually good against the decks that Ginger plays. Lone and Arvid are probably going to be good against him as well. They're on four color Omnath, I believe. So, should be good for me. I guess I can check if they're streaming and check their Twitter. Not going to check their Twitch, of course, but we'll check their Twitter. I want to post on the Twitter. I think that's fair game. <laughs> Two streamer battle. I have no idea if he's streaming or not. Let's play Arbiter here. I think it's better than Thalia. Or Kalalmath, yep. Mountain. Unfortunate. It's a big punish, but they need to like have basically exactly Mountain there. Well, the second Arbiter was really nice. He's probably going to get him in some way or another. With Thalia. I feel it in I think. Spellstone seems really good right now. Spellstone does seem pretty good. I agree. Don't have white mana, but they do have three other colors of mana. Attack for four. Feels bad if they have exactly fire spout. But you know. I should have gotten rid of Arbiter, probably. Or actually, at land. Land would have been way better. I don't know what I'm doing. That was pretty bad. Should have done it on a land there. That was pretty loose, to say the least. Pretty, pretty loose. Probably gonna ta like use the ability on my turn. Let's attack. I'd rest your angel here, it'd be pretty nice, but. Not gonna quite work. Hollowed Fountain untapped, wow. Path to Exile there. I'll go get a Plains. So they can't have cryptic command mail open here. It's, um, oh, they went after forest. Wow. Are you even supposed to go after their hollowed fountain there then? Not quite sure. Um, four path resolved. Because they, they targeted this already, so we can't field them into the Shadow Realm. I'm going to pop field the dead, because I want to go after the colored sources.
Now I can go after Field of Ruin, I think. I also messed... Oh, I guess... It, yeah, we took one damage unnecessarily. Probably some of the cryptic commands here, I have to imagine. It's like just another cryptic command. Let's crack this. It's actually a pretty nice one to just get down here. Pretty nice one to be able to just sneak on past through any counter spells. Haven't shown Uro yet, which is nice. This kind of like makes them have to play like potentially in a weird way. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Paul, let's see what you got. Got third cryptic. Third cryptic, wow. I should use this. I'm not really sure why I'm not. Thank you for the follow. Grantus of Mantis, I appreciate it. As far as that's seeing their hands. Yeah. Naos Sai, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Yeah, that's fine. And they conceded. Wow. Interesting. Let's see. I feel like this is not what we're interested in. I don't think we actually want Revoker. It's pretty medium. Our common area is probably medium as well. I think this is fine. I think we want to keep in some amount of pass. This hand is pretty bad. I think I'm gonna mulligan this one. They also mulligan, so that's nice. This hand looks good to me. Not great, but good. I think I'm gonna skip this song, go to this song. Now this is a banger. for them to go to five. That would be great for me. That would just be great for me. Everyone loves Through the Wire. Let's be honest here. Everyone loves Through the Wire. Everyone loves Through the Wire. Even Through the Wire. This piece of nice pickup. 
an ent- it's an intro for dessert, it's an intro for pancakes, I just sip the scissor. Pot online, thank for the follow, I appreciate it. Left the wizards. Round six. I think I just want rest in peace here. Biggie Smalls died. So I had blood clots. Jamaican man throwing on MTV and I ain't trying to make a band. It's right here. History in the making, man. Right down to the wire. Even through the wire. Well, we don't really have anything else going on for us, but we can kind of mess their mana base a little bit. Bro, sure. Goes away. Flicker Wisp here. Sucks. Because they can just like path us. I think I'm supposed to do this. Like these can just have one man rule spell and it's pretty good against us. It doesn't seem like they have that. So it's fine for me. It's <laughs> like so we've kind of drawn a good chunk of lands after the rest in peace as well. But yeah, that's fine. I feel like they have fire spell in their hand. So that's been the like the board wipe of choice from them recently. Hmm. What round is this? It's round two. Back round six. I should have probably just should have done this first, I think. Cause I have to think about getting planes, yeah. That's like cryptic command. Like that that was a mistake by me, I think. I wanted to play around Mana Leak. A little bit worried. Attack running six here. 
got a good feeling they have another run in six in their hand, but I mean, we kind of have to do this, right? bit of a punish there for us. I could have done this bad card in every deck. <laughs> In case they're playing Supreme Verdict. Yeah. I also want to get rid of as many like lands on my deck as well. What's the score? We're up a game here and we're 1 0 in the event. sucks. Maybe we can draw like Sword of Fire and Ice here. That'd be really good for me. kind of dead here. I mean, we could play it out, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't really want to, to be honest. Because it'll just take a long time for like the same thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Depending on how they lead, I'll lead on Arbiter slash Thalia. was time constraints and I would do it without time constraints I don't think I'm gonna do it I want to lead on Arbiter here because they have path it's really nice for me because they have to path my Arbiter and I get an extra land is this the red one or stone mountain so it looks like they've got bolt in their hand rather than path what's the announcement no no announcement yet Attack first here. That's good for me. That is good for me. This was their third land, it's like really, really good for me. Because they have to like kill one of these basically. It's really hard for them to do that. I mean, Forest is pretty good for them. But they still can't play like three minute to fairy, they can't play some other things as well. I'm playing mono white exit tournaments for every non rotating form except legacy at this point. <laughs> I've played mono white in a lot of tournaments. Sure. If I draw a land, I'm just going to leave up Resto Angel. If I don't draw land, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. It depends on what I do draw and what they do as well.
they're willing to take out Arbiter. I'm just going to play another Arbiter. Seems like the correct thing to do. It means that they probably care about like the fetching. Your mono white tags, and assume you'll be in the tournament after round three. <laughs> well, I'll still be in the tournament after round three. At very least, I'm one of those. Don't play fire spell. Don't play fetch. Well, actually, fetch land's not that big of a deal. I just gain four life here. It's pretty bad for me still. Can't really flicker with them. I just have to do this. Yeah, all math is probably gonna get me here. Wub Wigan two two. Thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Needed to draw like sort of fire and ice or stone forge mystic or something like that. I think. It's like wild that they like waited. <laughs> Just like have. Ugh. Omnath is so good when it gets going. I didn't, like, have any ghost quarters to punish my opponent. And they just, like, didn't have to fetch, really. And they shock. That sucks a lot for me. really sucks for me. Yeah. Like, not having Aether Vial 2 really, really sucks for me. Because I have to do this now. Take out Rune. It's just, like, so hard to beat Omna. So, so hard to beat Omna. Like, they just gain four life, like, every turn, basically. But, I mean... <sighs> that really, really sucks for me. Yeah, I mean, they just have it all. Like, what can we do, right? They just, they had the answers to everything I had. Maybe I'm just supposed to, like, aggressively mulligan for, like, an Aether Vial start. But, like, I don't know. The draw was, like, insane. We didn't draw, like, Stoneforge Mystic to make them, like, force to use, like, a removal spell on that over Athalia and Arbiters. It's just, like, we're supposed to attack their mana and didn't really, ha like, all the ways we had to attack their mana just, like, was it relevant based off of their hand. So it's kind of hard. Just We just didn't have the right interaction from them. And our cards were, like, really awkward as well with our mana. I don't know. I think this matchup should be really, really good for us. But, like, they fetched on turn one. Had a removal spell turn two. Was able to fetch turn three. 
had Ren and Six on math. And it's like really hard once they get all that stuff going. It's like they just they just had the the things they needed and we didn't have Aether Vial to like get accelerated with all of our stuff as well. Like I think we could have easily won that game if we had Aether Vial instead of any of the cards that we had in our hand. But since we didn't have Aether Vial, we couldn't like quite get above their mana curve because of the growth spirals and such. So Yep. Hopefully we can do a bit better in the next rounds and uh yeah, I'll see you there. Okay guys, we're back for round three. Um, yeah, this hand looks good. We have Aether Vial, we have a path. I believe our opponent is going to be on the Red Black Bomat Courier Shadow deck. So, see, so yeah, they're going to start with Bomat Courier. Thoughtsies. Mm, that sucks. Well, hopefully, if they take Aether Vial, we have Aether Vial on top. They bobbled our, us, so they're not going to take Aether Vial if Aether Vial is on top. Sorry, once per day. <laughs> Took path. Makes me think that there's probably a vial on top. Oh, there's not, but... Interesting they decided to take path. They're probably on, like, a one... Like, one creature hand. They took path on a one creature hand. That's wild. And a one land hand. Or not a one creature, one land hand. Probably should have played Ghost Quarter there, because if I drew Arbiter, then I'd just get to, like... Demolish them next turn. So spear. Okay. That's fine. Let's draw Leon and Arbiter. Win the game. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Let's go click that operation. Yeah, I think I'm fine getting rid of one of these guys. Stem the bleeding a little bit. good idea so you can color scoot them a little. I thought about doing it, but like, I don't know, I don't think it's that great. Just remember, okay. Let's put in Stoneforge Mystic. Let's go get Batter Skull here. Just put in Batter Skull and then Flicker Wisp the Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, they just didn't hit a land. Yep. I mean, I don't think you can keep one land bobble hands. It really depends on the hand, though. Seems his hand was not like the greatest. Bring in these. I believe this is how we should sideboard. I think this is fine. Actually, what's... No, I think Maul is better than Sword of Fire and Eyes. Because Maul can just cheese them. One job seems defensible. I mean, it depends what else is in their hand. It could be defensible, but, like, on the play, just, like, not having a second lane just, like, hurts a lot. As you miss, you're usually losing. Just gonna you know, explain the split with Forge Tender and Champion. Split between Forge Tender and Champion is you can bring in Forge Tender against decks that have potentially cards like Fire Spout, Anger of the Gods, etc., etc. And um, Forge Tender is also like really good against Burn, and some other decks like that as well. But basically, it's for like the red board white cards and uh, decks like Green Red as well, where, where our champion's pretty bad against green red, I think. But, I thought about just playing four Oriok champions today, to be honest. But this was the deck list that I saw from the person, so I wanted to try this out, at the very least. We're gonna be on the draw again. They have Luris, of course. 
Like the same as a keep. Like, we have two removal spells. Skyclave Apparition, basically another removal spell. If we can find the white mana for it. And Restral Angel, if we just like find a fourth land that's not white mana. Fours and three pass. Okay, that's fair. Aether Bell? Like, no, okay. What's up? How about an Invex? Is that the... What's the, like, white, white, white... It's like 3-3 three, three pro-black, like, exile black creature when it enters the battlefield? Is that Paladin and Vic? I don't think so. Toast to you, Ori. I don't think for the follow I appreciate it. Not exactly the turn I wanted to draw that. I'll purge the Scourge. Actually, I'm going to purge the Scourge right now to play around. The, uh, like, Apostle's Blessing. Protection black and the from red. That's not a bad. Divide Lightcaster is the card I'm thinking of. I played that before. It's actually not that bad. Um, yes, I'm still listening to what I'm saying. Not exactly what I wanted to draw with those two Aether Vials. At least I can get them down. Yes, it's getting really big. Yeah. I'm just going to take this hit, of course. Like, don't have anything else going on, so they're just going to bring back their Luris, probably. I think I have to win some abandon. Mm, I could just, like... Resto Angel here right now. No, I think I just want to do this. Winds of Abandon. Mm. Mm. It's difficult. Yeah, let's rest it here, I guess. I don't know. It's it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Like, the thing is, Resto Angel is so much better. Like, it's really good as well, because it, like, makes it so they can't draw land. But also, like, leaving this in our hand could possibly make it so we can, like, draw land, play Batter Skull, and draw land wins. Depends on what they do this turn. Like, if they just jam Laris, then we kind of just have to be forced into wins, depending on what we draw, at least. There's yeah. Bobble. Sure. Because they can't really attack here. Unless they want to attack with Bowmat. I think it's fine with me. Are you a Doom Flexing Hunter with the 2019 versus 2020 Avatar banner? I had liked this banner a lot. two lands for ultimate wins. The thing is, like, we kind of have to just play wins next turn regardless, because they'll just get too much value out of their bobble. Because, like, the fact that we could just not draw another land is so bad for us. Surprised they did not bobble. It doesn't really make sense. I guess they're playing to like Bomat Courier, but I don't really know. 
like not bobbling makes it so like you're mm, maybe you're supposed to say bobble because like push like, I don't know these files now I mean I'm gonna play the files out I think playing out the files I'm gonna play one vial here. Play like land and then one vial. I think it's so I play around like a K command a little bit. We could just attack here. You get to like basically get three cards. Like we're not supposed to attack. Destroy draw land. The thing is with destroying the draw land, then we can't play our batter school. So I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I think I have to stay back here. Like I really want to play my batter school next turn, and it's not guaranteed if I destroy this on Big Canyon. This card's a fourth search, so the the bobble was weird. Because this is not a fourth search card, apparently. Start kills me, of course. I'm good at eight. Double bolt. B three six. Seven eight. Double bolt to my block there. It's gonna be six twelve. Six plus three. Nine. Okay, so double bolt kills me regardless, unless I double block. I think I'm supposed to do this block then. Player on double bolt. K command. The reason I kept an eighth bottom land. The reason I kept an eighth bottom my hand. That sucks a lot. Hmm. Lined up. Pretty sure I can't block this dust shadow this turn. Then we're gonna maul them next turn. Pretty sure we just have to take our beats to the bolt here. I don't see a way of winning um, by blocking. If you don't block, they're onboard fetch. 
Well, I don't, uh, don't think they have any more fetch lands, right? Or things to fetch. With them playing four blood crypts. Do they have more things to fetch? I don't think they do. Maybe they do. The shocks are in play, that's what I thought. Surprised they did not attack with the Bowmite Courier as well. Need to draw a fatal push here to win, basically. Draw a fatal push, you know. They got me. If they don't, then I'm feeling pretty good. I guess they could also draw K command. Fatal push. It's your exactly fatal push. Feels bad, man. That was the only card that they could draw to get out of this one, I think. Yeah, they need to draw exactly Fatal Push. That's a good one. That's a good one. Got punished for taking the Aether Vial up to 3, but I think taking it up to 3 is more often going to be better for us. I guess, yeah, no, because, mm, I don't know. I don't know why they're not attacking the Illusion. I just have Maul. Guess they can draw a K command here, some way to kill my mole. Put mole here. Jeez. Oh, okay, I thought they actually drew a braid, that would have been sick. Well, we got Doomwake, they hit the Fatal Push, and then we hit the Oriox, so... Both had to draw, both had to rip off the top to get there, and, uh... Yeah, um, I ripped off the top one more time than he did, so, got him. Hopefully we can, uh, continue to do well, rip off the top, and do well in other matches. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, we're back for round four, I believe it is. We're gonna keep this hand on the draw. It's got Vile. Vile's always good. So, Cavernous Souls, humans. I did not expect them to be on humans with how long it took them to play their match. This should not be the greatest matchup for us, but Skyclave Apparition, I think, will do some work. Flicker Wisp, also going to do some work. Path, also going to do some work. <laughs> this guy really slow. He's both really slow and really quick because I've played against him where he took 20 minutes game one basically doing nothing. And then uh, he played games two and three within less than five minutes. Thalia. Okay, Thalia doesn't really matter to me. Really want to hit a land drop here. Because I can't path without the land drop. Easy game, easy life. I think this is just a play Thalia turn. Because then I can just like block their Thalia. Pretty annoying for humans. Yeah, I can imagine. Stoneforge Mystic probably made this matchup a lot better. What else do we get out of the board? Probably Purge. Maybe Archon of Amiria? Maybe not. Stoneforge Mystic? Well, that's good to hear. That's good to hear because we have four of those in our deck. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> so 
Previous play used to think the tax match was a buy. I've been losing to it a lot recently. Oh, yeah. Lazy tenant. That's fine. I can still block this Thalia profitably. That's great. I'm more than happy to trade here. And if I draw a land, I'm snapping off Skyclave Apparition on the Champion of the Parish. Didn't draw a land. I think I'm going to path the Champion of the Parish now. Like, I don't... It makes it so they don't get a land, and it makes it so their canopy lands are worse. Taxes just got a lot more powerful as a thing. Yeah, I mean, Stoneforge Mystic... I mean, Taxes was still, like, solidly tier 2 slash 3 for a while. But with Stoneforge Mystic, it got a lot better. Snap blocking, of course. We go up to 3 here. Yeah. Just into play. Oh, we have Arbiter in play. Oh, no. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. But, you know, we can just use Flicker Wisp and, and make it happen still. I, you know, sometimes you forget about this combo. I have not played with Lemon Arbiter since Stoneforge Mystic has come out, so, you know, sometimes you forget. Oh, that was really bad, what I just did. Because they can just copy Skyclave Apparition now with this. That was really bad. Oof. Messed up there pretty badly. I think this is still what I gotta do here. Feels kind of bad, but I messed up. I'm gonna take it because we can just flicker wisp the, the phantasm image regardless. It's not like they're gonna like the worst thing they can do is take my aether vial. Sucks. It's not the worst thing because we have sword and fire and ice coming down as well. They may have another phantasm image, which would be really bad. But I wish I didn't do this. Like, I should have just let this resolve. But, like, I wasn't thinking that he could just Phantasm Image my Skyclave Apparition. Hmm. Yep, I'm probably just going to take my vial. Excel just went stupid. Wow, he decided to do that. That's great for me. That's great for me. I'm not gonna double block here because I think they have another thought as a tenant based on how long they they've waited. I'll listen to. This song's a banger still. I haven't heard this one actually in a while. Friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. That's fine.
we get a 3-3 three, three now. I think I'm just going to block here. Take 7. Ooh. I hit the Stalia. Path here. They have to have double rider here to get me, basically. between your deck and humans. I mean, humans is always just going to be, like, somewhat reasonable. This deck can range in between, like, tier, like, 3 slash 4 and tier 1, but this deck rewards playing well a lot. I have played Taxes a lot, and it definitely rewards playing well. Well, we actually drew Flick with, so now we, like, can't realistically lose. This deck with Illusion. Well, I wanted to keep things back, because, I like... We can just, like, like, the only way I see myself losing is to, like, getting random garbage happening to us, basically. Humans, yeah. Hmm. Slicker Wisp. Okay, they've seen enough. That's good. Just play patterns. That's fair. Definitely want wins of abandon. So Purge can basically hit Kite Sail and Mantis Rider. And General Kudro, I guess. So I think I actually want Purge, because it can hit Rider plus Kudro, which are going to be post-board. Don't think I want Archon of Amiria. I think Leon and Arbiter is worse than Thalia. Thalia's at least a 2-1 for a striker. That can make it some interesting blocks. There's Stone Forest Scar, I could see so much better. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think this is fine. Arbiter is pretty bad. Two X in, Thalia out. I'd rather have Thalia than Leonin, I think. But I mean, like, I can imagine taking out one Thalia because it doesn't die all that often. But the problem with Leonin is it blocks so badly. But Thalia at least has the potential to block other Thalias, like that they're leaving in, and meddling mages and other things, like, well enough. I disagree with that. You can still go score them out with Leonin sometimes. Oriox just doesn't block anything. I think this is a mulligan. 
It looks a lot better, I think. I think I'd rather have Field of Ruin than Ghost Quarter. That's some drawback. <laughs> Book? I don't think Revoker is that great. And sometimes you get a hit of Vile, but like, it also stops your own Vile's. Kudro is not a realistic thing to name. Naming the Hierarch is reasonable. I can see bringing it in over Leonin. Possibly correct to do. Wow, they left in Kite Sail. That's wild to me. I cannot believe they left in Kite Sail. Main path makes sense. Well, I'm just supposed to forge here. Sucks if they kite sail me, of course, but like, eh, kite sail just seems so bad. Taking their time. Okay. Yep, they did have the kite sail to punish. It's just lagging a lot. <laughs> this is a spot where Purge. Be really good for me. Ones of Abandon also pretty good. Well, this is annoying. Clay Evaporation. That's a good name. That's a good name by them. But this Roker just not just saying probably shouldn't <laughs> uh. And we just gotta continue to leave up, give her rooms. And then Resto Angel can probably deal with things next turn. <laughs> the game is shaping up to be actually pretty good for us. We haven't drawn that many of the Meddling Maze names the cards, so that's good. KC1214, appreciate the follow. I'm cracking that immediately, it's really good for us. It means our hand is probably bad. 
It's Mantis Rider. Mantis Rider is actually fine with me, I think. Militia Buclair. It's a pretty good one for them. It's good this Resto Angel lets me reset my Stoneforge Mystic. They can't actually play that Phantasm Image, which is really good for us as well. Because they don't have blue mana for it. Because they don't have human human for this stuff. I think double blocking here may just be good. With the tutorial. I'll check in a moment. Um How's it going, Mr. Lee? Double blocking here is good. I should have not done that. That was a mistake. Cause then I could get blown out by um I could get blown out by a dismember there. Good luck in the prelims. Thank you, thank you. Don't have an arm. That's great for me as well. Magic woman. I've got a black one, magic one. Black magic woman, she's trying to get the out of me. This song is a banger. Turn your back on me, baby. Yeah, turn your back on me, baby. Back, on me, baby. It's all just back to stick. Ancient Ziggurat, okay. Assume they're gonna do bugler here. Yep, makes sense. It's a bang downloading right <laughs> now. <laughs> Currently pop an handsome streamer. Dark Alpha, okay. That plays. Me baby. Spell on me, baby. Got some spell on me, baby. I guess I should just attack here. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I can just put it back into play. I was thinking about like double blocks, but I f forgot that I just have the mana to go like put it back into hand and stone force it back out. What do they get? Chain from the Parish. It's not too bad. That's yeah, I can I can see that being good.
I think I'm fine with Sword of Fire and Ice here. You're being correct though. Confidant, I think. Like, I want to kill off something. I feel like Dark Confidant gives them the best chance to get back into it. Reflector Mage. Don't think they can beat me. Need to have drawn a, a Kite Sail Freebooter. Because I can just kill them with sorting them. Because they're going to have 369, 9, 12, uh, 15. And I get to block something. Huge Resto Angel, gonna take it. Love to see it. Well, uh, won this round, feels good. Hopefully we can get our 4-1 and win the final round. Right now, 3-1, got our money back at the very least. Take it, and we'll see how far this deck can take us. We'll be back in the next round. Okay, guys, for round five, we got paired up, and my opponent decided he wanted to split. So basically, I gave six treasure chests, and then I got 150 play points in the 40 QPs. QPs valued incredibly highly, and they've already locked up their QPs, so it was a pretty easy split for both of us. Sorry that round five wasn't a very good ending because it just ended in a split, but I would like to say thank you for watching the video. If you liked the content, liked the deck, liked it at all, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow my Twitch and Twitter in the description below. You'll get to see all of this live and along with other live matches. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.